So here I am with my wisteria vine. I love this vine because wisterias will bloom if they get very little water, very little fertilizer, but they do need sun. Now the fragrance is intoxicating and a lot of people ask about when to prune wisteria, pruning after blooming. But I want to introduce you to another vine that will flower in part shade or even a mostly shaded situation and it is called akebia. So come with me, we're going to meet akebia vine. Okay, so this is akebia. This one is called the chocolate akebia because it smells as sweet as chocolate. I love this vine. It has very intricate blooms um, and has a very, very long bloom time. This vine starts blooming, oh, probably around April and will bloom up until um, probably close to June. So here is the nice advantage of akebia vine. You can take your pruning clippers and when it's in most beautiful bloom and it smells the sweetest, that's when you go out and you remove some of the dead foliage because the kibia vine in the northwest is semi-evergreen. So you can see the new foliage is nice and green and healthy, but right up here, these are the leaves that are larger because they've been on the plant all year, and they've got just a little bit of winter damage. And so it's nice just to be able to come in, break those off. And because this vine is already covering the structure, when I see these, these um, tendrils that are you know, big and long and, and shooting up straight up, they're easy to just break off as well. And that's a form of pruning as well. So this is a vine that you can clean up and prune right when it's in flower. And then that way it controls the size of the vine. So a kibia vine, a great flowering vine for a semi-shaded location.